Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here, and welcome to the latest episode of ISGP Talk. This serves as uh, somewhat of a conclusion to the, the first series, I suppose, and who is the most perfect perfectest guest to have on this uh, final episode for ISGP 2018. It is none other than my tournament, Spyro Tournament's co-host, Nintendo Gen 64. Welcome yes, to yes. the show. Thank you. Thank you very much, Crystal Fisher. It's a pleasure to be here. This is my third time appearing on the uh, the talk series, which I think is the most of anyone. So so thank you very much yeah. for getting me, getting me back. I, I, I do appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Every, everyone else was a first timer, actually. So, oh, were uh, they? Oh, you know, okay. we had, was it no- Noel, Nguyen, Zin, yeah, um, yeah, Alice. So, yeah, welcome, well, welcome well, unlike, back. Welcome unlike back. those people, I lost my talk show virginity a long time ago. Yeah, no, that's right, that's right. I, as did I. Um, and look, we wanted to. I guess we're, we're going to do this. We're going to sort of structure it as a. Uh, you know, sort of a, an overview of the tournament so far. I mean, so far, essentially, essentially, it is over. There's one more match to go, but also, we'll, um, you know, we'll, I want to ask some specific questions about, you know, I, I want to want to dive more into Group B and stuff like that. We'll sort of we'll go from the start, and so I might as well, you know, jump in by asking, you know, what do you think of your group in general, Group B? You know, what? It, just give me a rundown of, of Group B. Um, okay, so so at the start of the tournament. We, we tried very hard to balance all the groups out um, so that we would have someone who is pretty much a pro speedrunner in, to- in each group and then sort of work down from there. Um, I think for me personally, Group B was a little unbalanced in terms of, of being easy for me to, specifically to get through. Um, yeah. And I think it lacked a lot of big personalities and characters, I think. I was probably one of the only you know, people like extroverts in the group. It was a, a very introverted group, um, a very difficult to get a, a like a, a handle on a lot of people, I would say. But apart yeah. from that, everyone was actually really nice. Don't get me wrong. Wonderful group of people. I just don't think it had the same level of camaraderie as group C or the same sort of entertainment value of group A. Uh, so it was sort of lumped in the middle there. But uh Oh, well, I, you, yeah, you, you, know, you have some good groups, you have some bad groups, you have some mediocre groups, and I think uh, I'll, I'll call Group B as, as much as it pays me to say this a mediocre group. I think part of that, though, definitely comes down to the fact that, uh, uh, you know, and not to throw them under the bus too much, but then again, we are kind of those kind of hosts where I think, you know, Muddy was absent for the first really six weeks mm-hmm. um, of the at least six weeks maybe even seven weeks and so that kind of made things a little bit unbalanced in the sense that like you kind of had these runs going up but there was noticeably no muddy runs there was yeah. noticeably no dino pony oh, runs yeah. so it kind of felt a little bit unbalanced like you were kind of getting a bunch of Eric and a bunch of new and all at once mm. and then you tried to spread yourself out much like I did yeah. but I think that's what kind of hurt the kind of distribution of how group B and I think it kind of suffered a little bit in the viewership because of that actually yeah i I would say Um, i I haven't looked at the stats i would think group b would probably be the least the least viewed uh, group yeah Um, yeah group b is is far and away the the most watched group. and look at the grand final there is not a single person from group b in the grand final isn't that isn't that doesn't that yeah well let's just let's talk about that let's talk about this jump ahead a little bit actually yeah and talk about that so yeah so we've got two people from group a in the grand final Mm. and two people from group c in the final uh the first and second place respectively, yeah. uh, but it was a member of Group B that won the second chance. Uh, like, sorry, the, the, the classic title, sorry, mm, the classic yeah, the championship. Yeah, uh, G4 so, Video 5, yeah, is, the, is the, classic, the classic champ, which is, in my opinion, an interesting outcome. I, I thought Barons would have had that, but uh, mm-hmm. it's good to see uh, Group B coming out with something. I think, does that, does that make him the most successful member of Group B, would you say? I guess I guess you can say it does. I mean, uh, Nguyen technically won more matches, yeah. I believe, but uh, and no Luke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New Nguyen definitely won more matches, um, and I think Luke did as well. And I think you did. Uh, I, I, think I did, did beat well. Beautiful Video Five by, by one match. Right. Yeah. And I think that yeah, you know, Group B um, as well. Just going back as well. Like I think that had you, if you're like thinking about, if you're structuring this. I think if you had switched someone like Dino Pony with 
uh, either Al Malloy or maybe mm. uh, from Group A, Fraser or something mm, like that. Yeah. I think that the group would have maybe been a little bit more um, balanced in terms of like that sort of comedic or comedy value or speed runnability mm. value. You know, like I think that it only required a little bit of tweaking. I think what we should it, have done, me. we should have put Katie, Lady, or Chris in Group B. I think. Right. I, I feel Ooh, like would have been interesting. You know, your Group A had Katie and Chris. Which was a good, you know, they were they're very good runners. They're in the grand final. Group C had Toto and Wally, and Group B was meant to have Luke and Nguyen Tox, but yes. I mean, look where they wound up in the grand scheme of things. They both lost their round two match, and they both didn't win, or neither of them won the uh, the second chance four way match. In yeah, fact, Toto. Yeah. the second chance four way match, Group B had a. Uh, a three out of four chance of winning that and not a single member won. So yeah. that's, that's pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and what about your thoughts? Just, you brief, briefly touched on it as well, but your thoughts on uh, group A and group, and group C as well, because I want, you know, I uh, group, group A, I think was uh, the most entertaining of the groups in my opinion. Um, I think you've got yep. the most um, endearing characters in that group. I think Keyford uh, especially was one of the standouts, one of the, Basically, an abject unknown plucked from obscurity and put in this in this tournament, who did really, I think, uh, well to, I, to get himself over as a character. It's indicative. I don't even, hmm? I don't even think he even really knew who we were. I don't even know how he even signed up. He must have found the video by a complete chance. Like, I, I don't think he so does either. not give the impression that he's a fan of either of us. Which I, I don't mean that in like an arrogant way. I just mean I don't even know what even happened. I don't. Okay, who is he? Where did he come from? It's. Kefford is just an enigma, yeah. But no, Zin, you were saying Zin as well, of course. Zin was good. a lot of fun too. And Zin, um, then you, Zin, like, was, a, Zin Lyle, was a rating Lyle's draw. A gas. Um, like yeah. Christian's always fun. Ratchet five. Yeah. The only, the only like yeah. you know weak link in, in group A was Trob. You know. Oh, fucking. Yeah. Any personal words for Trob? Trob, uh, Trob, you dropped the ball, man. And I, I hope if the you're champ. Watching, if, if you're watching this, I hope you've got your hands and your head in disgrace. <laughs> We're very, very diplomatic. Uh, yeah, well, Trob, Trob, the only person to effectively quit after even doing more races than actually like most people. Yeah, I know, right? What he was, was like, with a, that? like a bizarre, a bizarre, and you know what? Um, he has not been seen since. Not in any offshoot bingo hall no. uh, copy promotion or anything like and that. He's no you one's know, he's, heard he's... from him, spoken to him, or anything. He's just completely gone dead, which is fine by me. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well. Good, good riddance. It's, good, it's good to have um, to stay at your competitors. Um, well, it, it's it, it's funny as well um, because talking about this, we've only we briefly mentioned it in other speedruns, but the whole our whole concept of of you know, sort of I guess it's a group concept because a bunch of people had this same thought, but the whole third and fourth place consolation mm. classic sort of thing was essentially birthed out of Trob uh, arguably being dealt a really tough group in yeah. Group A. Um, well, it was, it was so, Ratchet Five felt sympathy, uh, sympathy for Trob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and we, we thought, you know, he's the reigning world speedrunning champion, you know, and he's going to get shafted out of his group. Let's let's throw him a, throw him a bone. And then that ended up actually benefiting me and Eric and Stick Kid out of everyone. You know, it was hilarious. Mm -hmm. But but Big I will talk. say I will say uh, I think I think that was a good call. The, the classic league in all seriousness yeah, it was I think it was um, it gave a lot of people you know a chance to, to shine as, as like individuals it, like um, Eric I think it made Eric a big star actually Def um, definitely Eric's done excellent I've, I've been really happy with him and group C as well just general thoughts on group C lovely, as well. lovely group of people I'll, I'll say that much I think possibly either it could have been the weakest in terms of skill I think group C um, probably, probably yeah. was, uh, but I, I think I think that, that that proves the point of this tournament, um, where I think Group C probably got the most viewership, the highest viewership, because you got yourself, yeah, you know, Noel who became a big star out of this tournament, Noel Ashley, yeah. you know, as well, Alice, these the three girls. I think it, it was my idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna lift the curtain a little bit, and show you how the sausage was made. Uh, yes. It was my idea to put all the those three girls into the same group because I thought um, it had added a bit of sex appeal, um, <laughs> and it it also people would want to like 
you know, see these girls race each other, of course. And uh, yeah, but it would course. also give you guys a chance to like get to know each other. And I think, I think you've made some really good friends and, and possibly friends for life, or friends for at least a few years oh. anyway. I mean, yeah. not to ex not to expose them too much, yeah. but yeah, I mean, they literally when they first um, when they first signed up and they first got in the group, they made a group chat. Um, you know, which is which was based around them getting to know each other to kind of be like, oh, you know, we're all new to this type of thing. Mm. And yeah, they all are all are on like a day-to-day -day friendship basis. So, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I think that, yeah, uh, you and I 100% should take credit for that. And I think that, you know, at the time you can look at that and maybe think, oh, you know, you're just putting all the girls together. But the reality is, is that I, ISGP, you know, um, IAS has traditionally been one, you know, giant sausage fest. It's, yeah, very you know, male dominated, so, yeah. So very, very male dominated. So I think that putting the girls together, mm. uh, three of the four girls together was a smart move because it means that they can kind of get comfortable. Mm. And now if, if we, you know, do a future tournaments, yeah. I think inevitably they will be split up, yeah. but it'd yeah. be a lot better because now that everyone knows everyone a little bit more, like this whole tournament as a structural thing, mm. if you're going to get like really meta mm. has laid the building blocks for the future exceptionally well. Because yeah. you've got all these, you've got thirty people now. I would say at least twenty people that now actually know each other mm. quite well. Like I'd say, there's probably the core twenty of people, and yeah. and they all know each other well now. And this is going to be the basis for the for the future. Well, well, um, I mean, tag team or whatever. Yeah, based on based on what you just said, there, I, I I think that in the past tournaments failed because we were going back to the same sort of well of sort of jaded and unreliable individuals who sort of. You know, we wouldn't really talk to unless there was a tournament going on, and if the tournament wasn't happening, they'd just fall off the well, radar. But this time around, we've we've gone out, we've we've taken a chance on on getting some new people in, and it's I think it's paid dividends. Like honestly, like can I, you know, can, think, look at how many people, brand new people made their debut in this tournament, and how yep, many of them performed than, extremely well, got all their runs done. Yep. Nine races yep. everyone had to do. Think about that. Yeah. Well, can I just say, I know that this is, this is, uh, this is very much, um, you know, WCW taking, well, mm, no, okay, this is more like WCW taking shots at, uh, Wrestle 1, yeah. but, um, <laughs> one thing that I, I kind of find very interesting, um, is I was actually in a, and I know, I can't believe we're, we're actually mentioning this, that, um, but, I was actually in a Dragon Racing World Cup speedrun call, no, uh, for no, about no. 10 minutes, yeah. I know, right? I've jo I joined the competition for ten minutes. It was Leon versus um, versus Finland boy, right? And the Finland boy is considered an IAS alumni legend, mm. right? Mm. He said nothing the entire call. Yeah. He said absolutely nothing. He only replied in this like anime soundboard every time you tried to ask where he was. And I and I'm not put, I'm not I'm not dissing a hundred percent not dissing Ratchet Five here. But what I'm talking about is like it's exactly the point you brought up. There's these old people that like everyone's kinda like, oh you know, bring back this guy, bring back this guy. Yeah. It's like it, Finland Boy has absolutely nothing to say. Mm. Like and um, um I know that's really dickish thing to say. But it's true. Like like the new people, there are so many good new people yes, in this tournament. Yeah. Like it's so we don't need to rely on the past anymore. No, no, right? that's we, right. We like, have an entirely new field yeah. of people that that have came in. And I'm sorry, Finland boy, I know you're not watching this, but it's just like that to me is just yeah. insufferable. It was an insufferable call, and I, I actually felt bad for Leon because he's trying to have a fucking conversation. He's mm. trying to he's trying to at least do something, and yeah. you're getting nothing back. Like the call is a really important aspect of this tournament, whether you like it or I'll, not. I'll give you the most you important wanna... aspect, really. I mean, I mean, like I, I agree. As much yeah. as I love races like like Chris LBC versus Toto, the the races I will sit there and gladly watch from start to finish. Uh, the Stick Kid key, or the Zindictive Kieford matches, or the yep. fucking Crystal Fissure Alice matches, or the yep. um, I don't know, pick pick any combination of any two weird, wacky, over the top, eccentric characters, put them in a match, fucking Spyro race to Glimmer. Who cares? I'll be there for the conversation. I'm there for the lols, and I yep. think most other people are there too, given um. The uh, retention rate of, of certain races, I think. Oh yeah, don't you, don't yeah. you agree? Do you, well, do you know? Do you know what the? Do you know what the biggest? Do you know what the to date the most watch time uh, speed run is? Uh, what's that? You versus Wally, isn't it? Yes, yes, mm. it's me versus Wally because. And the thing is, if you look back at that call, 
I mean, the speed Wally obliterates me. Like it's not even it's not even a competition. Mm. Like the actual race. Like I was never in it at all. Um, but it was just me, you, Ratchet, and a couple others just shooting the shit, talking about real life, talking about talking about the game, talking about like just random shit. Yeah. And that is that is honestly what draws. Like I mean, people yeah. are interested in conversations. Spyro as a speedrun game is you know it's impressive but we've all seen it before now yeah and what's going to keep people around is 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 the commentary 100 percent. yeah well that's that, just that how it too, is and i mean honestly the other thing too that i think is is interesting is the com- competition between low-ranked competitors right like yeah. a, mm-hmm. a, a great example of this is i i had a lot of fun in the christian king europe one versus from race because oh, these yeah. are two guys who are not going to win against anyone else except each other. Yeah. And it's a race for at least one of these people is going to win. And it's hilarious. It's like they're speed running, if you can even call it yeah. speed running. And, and one of them is going to win an actual official speed run match in the ISGP. It's amazing. It's great. I love it. No, me too. I'm a big fan of it. Um, and I think that, yeah, you know, overall, um, I would say that there are, there are, overwhelmingly even in I think in total it had to have been at least 115 runs uploaded I think I don't actually have the final number but something like at least 115 Um, all of group C done Uh, group A kind of slowed down towards the end um, unfortunately there was a few matches I wish did get 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 done slash uploaded that didn't Um, and then group B similarly but Mm. you know everyone you know but overall we got so many runs up and I would say most of them are really really fun to watch and yeah. like genuinely entertaining and so I th- I'd say from over a hundred runs that is that's what you want mm. uh, absolutely um, yeah and we've, so, I mean, we, you and I have we've identified people that we would love to bring back for future you know ISGPs and, and the likes because mm-hmm. I mean this will this will be a thing this this is not one and done we're not we're not shutting up shop now we're not like hey guys great great tournament thanks we'll see you never you know this is the start mm-hmm. of yeah. a movement if I can say that. A I revolution. Think, speed yeah, running that's revolution. right. No, a speed running revolution. Well, you know, it's funny. I was actually at, at Avcon last week and there was actually speed run stuff there, which I thought was very interesting. Yeah. And um, and I was just thinking like, I was like, this is cool, but I imagine like, and I've done this at SGDQ and stuff like that. Like Toto, Toto our, our, our uh, representative Toto has been has been there uh, back in the day. I would love to see more, yeah, like at these conventions and stuff like that, more like actual races, you know, rather than uh, just individual, you know, record time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, stuff. I, I when, think it's when brilliant. we started this whole thing, we, we had a bit of bite back from from someone in the, in the you know, speedrunning community saying, you know, you, you, you're sort of butchering the format of speedrunning because you're, you're, you're not, these aren't speed runs, they're races, then you're not really mm-hmm. like meant to be doing it this way. You should be doing, you know, whole game runs, any percent runs. They should yeah, conform yeah, yeah. to a category. Well, I, I think I can wholeheartedly disagree that, that that's the only way that this can be done. And even in a competitive environment, I think that, that we've proven without a shadow of a doubt that, that this format works and it's successful yeah. and it's popular and it's definitely got a future. I agree. I agree. I do hope it grows beyond uh, what it is here. Even though I'm e- exceedingly pleased with with how I've, all the viewership's gone and stuff like that, I think that yeah, it can only, it can only really go up from here. I think um, whether it's us doing it, other tournaments, anyone, I think that it's it's a it's a great concept. Um, so, what do you think about? I guess you know from a management perspective as well, because I know that I've had people ask me when the fuck is the you know this next tournament. You know, what's your thoughts about round twos? speed um no, i know that happy. it's not everyone's fault but uh, it's definitely something that's bothered me a little bit and i have yeah. said it publicly but i you know this yeah it's definitely i've had to hold my tongue yeah a bit. Th- i mean this always happens and this is something i need we need to come up with a solution to avoid because mm-hmm. um yeah. it's really detrimental to the flow of these things and and as as someone who you know prides myself on having things accomplished and done and, and moving from one goal to the next and one objective to the next this stagnation yeah. of round two really did bother me um and, and yeah. even at now as we speak that the grand final uh, could have been done any time in the last you know seven days but it hasn't been and it probably won't be uploaded yeah. until a few days after this uh, video and just yeah. if you look at round one, round one was very... It took eight weeks, but I mean, eight weeks to do 115 matches is pretty good if you think about it. Like, that's a pretty yeah. successful uh, outcome. Yeah. Um, so future tournaments, I think, 
we'll need to assess how we can go about streamlining the round two process. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. Definitely. How we do that. I'm I not too that sure how we do that yet. Um, it's not the format to announce how we do that yet. No, I'll have to come up with a solution to that. But, yeah, and yeah. it does... Yeah, I mean, that you know, obviously we understand that people have lives and, and careers and, and, and education and, and whatnot. But yeah, I think that um, communication between competitors is something that I think needs to be improved um, because there's only so much that you and I can do yeah, to exactly. encourage people to do races. Um, and we really did we really were like put our front foot forward sort of thing when it came to actually getting people to do races um mm. which you know what as hosts as hosts there's not like it's a disastrous thing we're happy to, to follow people up like that is part of our, our job is to do that is to make sure everyone's everything's going smoothly but i think that yeah with round two we've got to be a little bit more um it needs to be a deadline and if that can't be reached there needs to be a discussion with everyone involved to get it done as soon as possible yeah that could, and the that other thing yeah. The other thing is that we don't really have any, um, I think you, you and I both agree with this, we don't really have any sympathy to the idea of, oh, you, oh we need time to practice it. Because mm -hmm. in fact, if it, I had it my way, I wouldn't reveal goals until literally 10 minutes before a race. Because mm -hmm. part of our format is that we actually like the fact that you have to kind of think on your feet. That's why, that's why those bingo, that's why those... Um, what are they called? Like those bingos where you have to pick the row. It's like an anti bingo, or whatever. Where you pick the row for your competitor, and then yeah. you have to you yeah. have to pick it during the opening cutscene. You know, like for Spyro too. Like I think that's such a brilliant concept. I, I like that. Um, I think I think we need to do more of that as we go forward. I think eliminating the 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 dread of the practice leading up to the race is is something that yeah. we should consider because. I know, uh, you know, personally, like going back some years when I was, you know, younger and more sort of like intense and serious in speedrunning, the period of time before a race was pretty nerve-wracking actually, because you, you, you think about this, you, you come up with a game, you come up with a run, and then you've got to decide how much time you're going to put into it, and, and how much time you're willing to spend on perfecting the route and everything. Whereas yeah. I, I think delivering the goal moments before the race ain't such a bad idea uh, at least eliminates no, that no, it isn't. and puts everyone on the same sort of level playing field in terms of practice time yeah, you know? yeah exactly because because of the aforementioned lives and, and stuff like that yeah. So yeah yeah you're gonna have people that naturally you know someone like al you know who who works a nine to five he is objectively going to have less time to practice than say someone that's uh still at uni or something like that or you know high school mm. um you know, and, you know, and has more free time, and and you know, naturally, um, if I wanted to, if let's say the tournament was going on right now, working from home this week, while well, my boss has been in Sydney or in Melbourne, I could technically play the game realistically for like eight hours a day if I really wanted to. You know, <laughs> so really like, I mean, and yeah, yeah. If I, you know, I don't. But spoiler alert. But uh, yeah, I can I can see where that comes from. But no, I think that's something that we'll, we'll try and work on. Um, you know, it's good. It's good to know what's worked and what hasn't and yes. i would say overwhelmingly overwhelmingly people have been happy people have come to us and been extremely happy with how it's gone yeah i'd say probably they, both said this publicly and privately of everyone's happy yeah. i'd say yeah yeah i reckon so i reckon so there's some people um, like i would and, say i would say like a troll would not have been ever a dino pony the people we had to get rid of mc and jaga avado whoever these people were you know and and you know i think um as a first tournament in this series of tournaments ISGP, had, it was very ambitious doing the way that was done with nine matches everyone had to do in three groups of ten people. I think very successful for a first try, I think. Yeah. The uptake, the take-up, yeah. you know, incredible. We and, yeah, I mean, had there not been certain delays with people being away, it probably could have been done at the, by the start of this month, yes. the grand final at least. But... Um, so it's like in the future they won't go for four months. I don't think. No, I don't believe. No, no. Um, well, we like, know how to avoid that now. I think. Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, so, in terms of, uh, I'm trying to think on the spot here. What are, what else? Is, what are some other things that you want to you want to discuss here that you think is worthwhile um, to do with the tournament? Just generally. With, how with you tournament? went personally? Yeah, how you went? How you felt you went as a speedrunner? As a yeah, I do well. I'm, you know? I won. I won like something like seven matches or something which is pretty yep. good in my, in my group I, yep. I won eight overall i think this was technically my most successful tournament of all time actually yeah so yep. that was good i made it to the 
um, classic championship match. I, I beat people like uh, Muddy, who was a longtime rival of mine. Um, I beat G4 Video 5, who has shown himself to be quite credible now. I beat Al, which I thought was a pretty big accomplishment considering how he was, you know, how high he was in our speedrunner community back in the day. Yep. Yep, very true. So I'm, I'm quite happy true. with how I went. I think, um, I, I, I don't think I could have won the, the classic match. I think that's, and even if I did win, I would never have won the second chance full way. So I pretty much went as far as I could go, I would say. Yeah. No, I, 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 I agree with that. I think that, I think that you, I think you did very well. I mean, definitely did better than me. I mean, yes. but I think you've always been better at Spyro than me, to be honest. Like I have, yes. I, my, 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 my speed run expertise is pretty much limited to, uh, Toy Story 2, yeah. Gex 2, uh, Monsters Inc. Scare Island and A Bug's Life. That is the only, they are the only games I've ever been actually decent at. Uh, yeah, true. Yeah. 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 And you've, you've beaten me in which, like all three of those games. Which I guess actually is a kind of a, a good semi segue anyway. to uh, what we want to do in the interim, I guess. And we'll properly announce this with proper videos, but uh, those other games, you know, we, we are called Spyro Tournaments, obviously, or uh, formerly Spyro Speedruns before being pressured to change our name. But um, we, we were at Spyro Tournaments, but I don't think that we are just limited to Spyro, aren't we? Uh, in terms of races outside of mainline mm. tournaments. You want to talk well, about that a little well, bit? Well, what, what I meant, well, yeah, I, was, I was talking to Lyle about this today, actually. And, uh, and while our name is, you know, International Spyro Grand Prix ISGP, the S might not always necessarily stand for Spyro, if you, if you understand what I mean. Um, mm. It could potentially just be the International Speedrunning Grand Prix, if you want, uh, because that's sort of where we're going to go with the next period of time between now and and the next uh, tournament, which will be the World Tag League, the International Spyro Grand Prix World Tag League 2018. Will yeah. be. We've, we've mentioned this offhandedly, and, and if you've made it this deep into the video, actually, into this video, you're getting some... some news some information that hasn't been shared anywhere else yet so so mm -hmm. well done to you uh but yes the next tournament will be a tag team tournament and it will be another spyro tournament uh so i'm looking forward to that we that was the proof of concept with the golden lovers versus apollo 55 that we did a few weeks ago <laughs> and and that yeah. proved very successful yeah. if you ask me i don't know what you what do you think yes about that? Yeah, well, what seven hundred people watched it, so I yeah. think it was actually one of our one of our best viewed viewed matches. I mean, in part because I shared it on my channel, but I, still very very much a concept that people want to watch. Um, I, I had probably the most fun I've ever, ever had in a speed run in that particular speed. That run. was fantastic, and it came down to the wire too. Yeah, um, which was which is like an excellent thing. Like it was like twelve to thirteen or something like that, or yeah. whatever. It's like twelve to eleven. So yeah, it was it was uh, no very good concept. Um, I guess that. Well, as it, when it comes to signing up and more official information, like non-podcast information drops, mm -hmm. uh, we'll probably put up, even though we know a lot of the teams that are already going to join, we will actually put up another sign-up thing because yeah. just, to, just to, again, vet people, find out when they're free and stuff like that. Because I know people like Noel go back to uni uh, in the next couple of weeks. So you, we want to know people's availability. Mm -hmm. And that's in general, actually. Um, in the future, one thing that Ratchet did with his is that he had a few more questions on his... Um, Google form based on the stuff, the form that we made. So I think that in the future, yeah, things will be vetted more, I mm. think to prevent, um, to prevent some of the absences of this tournament. Uh, you know, like, I mean, for example, like Wed coming in and not doing a race for like three and a half weeks and then dropping out. It's like, yeah. as opposed to, well, you I mean, and, well look, we, we you know, know the people that we're not letting back in. We know the people we are letting back in. So, so that's, that's sort of like, um, I think I think the way this is sort of another off-topic off thing. The way we'll plan who the entrants are in the next tournaments will be based off of people we know we can trust, and people who we want to join them, and we'll you know grab those people first, and then the remaining field that we need to fill out will be done through similar signups to how we did this yep. tournament. I yep. think. Um, yeah. But yes. Yep. So the World Tag League will be the next tournament, the International Spyro ISGP World Tag League. Um, so we're going with that banner, that's sort of like the branding now. And mm -hmm. the period of time between the ISGP ending and the World Tag League starting uh, will be called the Road to the World Tag League. And we've got some matches planned for that, which won't necessarily be Spyro speedruns. So that's, that's where we were going yeah. with that earlier little conversation. Yes. So we will be doing yeah, some interesting correct. little matchups. Um, we've got a, a, a big 
title match, a championship match scheduled for that uh, period too, and uh, some other interesting formats as well. And do you want to also as well talk about the the, the titles versus tournament victories? You know, oh yes, you, yes. You, you so, know, so so this yeah, is something we're introducing too. Um, with with the way that, that, that we're going to present ourselves in the future, um, there will be three big championships that you can win uh, in in our sort of um, uh, governing body, if you want to call it that. Yeah. So the, universe, the first championship will. will be the World Speedrunning Championship, um, which is currently scheduled to be defended in the uh, upcoming Grand Final. Mm. So the winner of that will be the World Speedrunning Champion, and it will also be the winner of the ISGP as well. Uh, but but Angus, what what what's, what are happening to the the World uh, Speedrunning Championship? Isn't there another tournament that it wants to fight for that title as well? There That's... is. Well, we'll look look. Uh, we'll 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 say what's mm. going to happen with that. At a later date, but in, and, and until then, until until that yeah. that is announced, they are challenging. The the will, the winner of the ISGP will be the world speedrunning champion, um, and Good. also they'll be the winner of the ISGP. So that's two accomplishments: championship and tournament winner. In the future, that won't necessarily be the same thing. Um, so so we have the classic speedrunning championship, of course. That's the one that was won in the classic league. In the World Tag League, will determine the tag team champions. But then, if you want to yeah. go forward and look at the IS, uh, sorry, the Spyro Speedruns Cup, which is another rumored tournament we've had um, going around, the winner of that won't be the champion necessarily, unless the champion does win the tournament. But yeah, they will yeah, yeah, be yeah. the winner of the Spyro Speedruns Cup and get a chance to challenge for the championship. So that's sort of where we're going with this. Championships will be defended and only lost in title defenses they won't yes. be lost by winning a tournament that's how we're going to go and considering that we are the we are the governing body it's essentially you and i and really anyone that will want to consult really yeah. um we will determine you know whether things will be stripped whether you have to defend it so for example if you win isgp mm. uh and you win the championship, the main championship. Yeah. If you win that, um, that if you choose to not defend it, we will we will strip it from you. Yes. Like yeah. so, you can't you can't just take take the championship and hold it hostage, much like uh, you know CM Punk wanted to do. You know, you've mm. you've got to you've actually got to you, and you can't Brock Lesnar it either. Either you can't just take it to another. Uh, series or something like that and be like i'm the champ you know blah blah, blah. you have to defend it as we wish mm. um you know and that, that'll that'll be that'll all be established in the, the videos in to, to explain obviously we're not do, you know you, you don't have to watch a 33 minute video here to to uh, understand what that will be but it should be known that you know you winning that means that you do have responsibility you you mm. are a you were a fighting champion by, you, you by are no, the face any, of the isgp if you if you become that the champion that, that's how the it ace. works. Yeah. The face, yeah, the, the ace, yeah. everything. The face, the yeah. ace. The face that runs the place. And yeah, it's... it's uh, And look, we got the four people. Let's talk... We'll wrap it up by talking about the grand final. Mm, yes, yes, we got yes. Four, we got four people in the grand final. Uh, originally, it was going to just be three people, I believe that was what it was. But mm. now we have the fourth person. And... Uh, I will say, so we've got Katie Lady, Chris LBC, Yes Wally One, and the winner of the second chance, and my personal favourite to win this, and the, actually, personally, the one I want to win it the most as well, because the winner of Group C, <laughs> Toto Zijem. Is that uh, how you pronounce Zigem. his name? I've been saying Zigem. Well, I thought it was I thought it was Toto, like, Zijem, like it's the gem, or something, or Zigem. Yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, shows how much I fucking, you know, yeah, whatever. But yeah, Toto, I'll just say Toto. Um, Toto, yes. Toto so, Wally, what, Katie, Chris. What are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on the grand final? Um, um, very okay. It's it's the predictable four. If you're gonna go that route, maybe, maybe the only so. person I would have thought would get there maybe would have been someone like Newen instead of Wally. But I think yep. we we definitely predicted Chris, Katie, and Toto would be there, and I guess Wally yep. was also in the conversation. I, I I'm gonna go with Chris as my pick to win the whole thing. I just think yeah, can, yeah. O overall, I think he's the best Inspiro. I think yeah. take his win over Toto in um, 
Inspiro 2. I think he's better than Toto Inspiro 1. I think the only thing Toto might have an edge on him is Inspiro 3. But now that the grand final is going to be what it's going to be. Now that, now, that they, now, that they are, now that they whined enough about it, uh, they completely, be, I'll just say it publicly, they completely bitched out and had a fucking hissy fit at the idea that we had to do Spyro 3, even though it was a random draw that was selected. Yes. Um, in the future, I'll just say this, in the future, we will establish that no one, no one will question what the grand final is. If, if, if the next grand final is a race to eat my fucking anus, yeah. That is what the race will be. It oh will boy! Be whatever the fuck we want it to be. Yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd actually have a shot at winning that one. I think Crystal Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Mm. That's a soundbite. That's uh, yeah. So so sips water. Um, yeah. So you know we yeah the we have, we have just we've decided to be fair um you know and and hear them out and they they wanted they wanted to do all of them unanimously thought it would be good to do all three games which is saying that we were opposed to just because we thought it'd be a logistical nightmare but because of thank seriously this, is, this shows how long the last time we did the tournament was you know obs it doesn't actually stop recording you know fraps yes, we have to stop yes. and start yes, right? yes, yes obs yes. keeps it going so essentially they're able they're all on console as well so they're able to keep keep going blah 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 blah, blah whatever they've all agreed to it we're happy to do it but let let it just be known publicly that um we wanted it to be spyro 3 and that's why i put the video up and in the future we will establish it pretty early on that mm. like what we pick as the grand final will be the grand final and yeah. you I, I take it you agree with me here oh well, uh, i i, I agree i think yeah. it was unnecessary the way they they carried on um based on on in my personal assessment i i I actually uh, told them all to quit the tournament if they didn't like it, um, which could <laughs> yeah. have been an overreaction yeah. on my behalf and probably was. But but yeah. I think we need to say the separation of powers here. You're the competitors and we're the hosts, okay? That's how it works. Because look, look, this is the unfortunate reality. Crystal Fissure is very popular, you know? And I'm his best friend, okay? So he and I are going to run a tournament that will have more views... Then your tournament, <laughs> Ratchet 5, okay? More <laughs> eyes on the product. There's no point yeah. in fighting us because we are guaranteed to make you a star, okay? Look at Keyford. <laughs> yeah. Look at Noel. Look at G4 Video 5, okay? Pick any other name. Pre-tournament, no one gave a shit about who they were or knew who they were. Post-tournament, <laughs> everyone loves them. And you know why that yeah. is? It's because of us, okay? So, so think about that, okay? Otherwise, otherwise, go, go, go practice your, your, your fucking, like, any percent races nine to five, okay? In abject silence and, and with your 500 subscribers and no one's watching your Twitch stream, okay? Do that. That's fine. I don't care. Because at the end of the day, we're the popular kids and you're not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, ditto, ditto. Um, yeah, oh, no, sorry, look, what did I say? Sorry, did I say all that? Yeah. Gee, that, that is, that's broken Angus uh, Darcy right there. Um, no, but um, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, look, look, look. We're very, very appreciative for everyone yes, who's yes. joined I, us. By the way, that and, was that and, was possibly uh, a bit satiric there, guys, in case you were wondering. Yeah. So. Possibly um, just a bit. Um, no, but, but, it, but it is true to an extent in a sense that, like, yes, the reality is, um, is that yeah, you know, we we are in charge of the way it's run, mm. and um, we, I think we've made a lot of fair compromises. There's yes. been some stuff we've compromised on that I didn't, I do not agree to. Yeah. Um, well, look at the, agree, the whole Crescent Championship. Anyway. The fact that we've got a Crescent yeah. Champion is a big compromise because that that title did, would not have existed unless it was for Ratchet Five. So, his his suggesting yes. of it. Um, and my implementation of it, of course, and, and you know, it's mm -hmm. still governed by us. You know, that mm -hmm. that was that wouldn't have happened unless we compromised on a issue. Yeah, and we're happy to listen. You know, for the record, like it's not to say that we don't want to ever listen to anyone and, and you know just do our own thing. But it, it is also that the, the, the final decision does um, does come down to what yeah. we want, and any any threatening of quitting or boycotting will just be met with a permanent ban at the end of the day. Like, I mean, we'll just yeah. say that. Because you know, look, that, you can quit, yeah. but, but the, the machine, the cog, you, 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 the, you're That's cog, right. right, it's like, you yeah, do, yeah you, you're, a spoke, you're a spoke on the wheel, on the wheel essentially. Yeah. Like, the wheel you, you, anyone could kick up quit, a stink. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. If, if anyone that quits and, and does a rant video about it or whatever, um, you know, it, it's not, it, 
quite frankly, and you can even bring this up and source this in the clip and make it seem like it's a gotcha moment, but there's simply, it doesn't, it, you you know, as much as we are happy to have everyone here and stuff like that, mm. one person quitting will not destroy the fabric of, of how it works. We lost Trop. We lost the actual champion. Yeah, we lost the champion, right? yeah. Like, the literal champion of the fucking, like, to the tournament, basically. Like, yeah. the guy that had followed the lineage of IAS, essentially. Yeah. He quit. And I don't think, I think you could hear the fart in the church by yeah. the end of it. You know, yeah, it a was, pin drop you could hear, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No one yeah, cared when Trob quit, okay? That that could be you. Yeah. Do you want to be the next Trob HD? Yeah. I don't think yeah. so. So, power tripping aside, let's, let's, uh, yeah, so, so we, you think that it's, it's probably a Chris, uh, a Chris victory, you'd say, maybe 60%? I'm, I'm picking Chris, Chris. I mean, you can go Toto, I'll go Chris. Um, maybe, I'll go, maybe I'll go Toto, the people yeah. in the comment section want to pick who they think might win, because, uh, yeah, that'll we, prove you've watched the whole thing. So, I, in my opinion, this uh, will be yeah. the, the best grand final of all time. If, if you want to go that that far, I think from from like a, from a work rate perspective. Yeah, I, I think it'll be the closest yeah. grand final too because we know what we know what it is. We know what the runs is going to be, and there's an equal mix of of all the games. I think, and yeah. and it's going to prove and who the overall someone, best at Spyro is, in my opinion. Someone's gonna pick a bad. Someone's gonna pick a bad board. You know that's what's gonna happen. Like, um, oh fuck, we haven't even really said. Well, okay, we actually haven't said. We'll do, I'll do a separate video of that because this is too late in. But it is a bingo race of all three games. Just for anyone who doesn't know, we're gonna that old video now will be. Um, I'll like not private it, but I'll be like, you know, this is this is not relevant anymore. Uh, I guess hey, if proof to show that they kicked up a stink and that we we changed it. But um, basically, yeah, it's gonna be all three games. Um. And it's going to be very, very exciting. And but and someone's but someone's going to fuck up. That's why I know, I know that I have a feeling someone is going to fuck up, and it's going to be very entertaining. Um, can't wait to see it. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this this interview discussion chat, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's been a pleasure, Nintendo 64, and we'll be back on screen together to announce uh, probably either a wrap up and then also to announce the tag league very, very soon. In oh, fact, oh yes, if, and of course, if, if there's uh, any. Crystal Fisher okay. and I will actually be together very shortly on, on the screen together um, as well. Yeah, no shit. Less than two weeks. So this, this could yeah. be... So that, that, yeah. Less than two weeks. Yeah, well, we'll be, it will be in Japan on the 6th of August, which is um, yeah. in a week and actually, two days. And, and, we'll be, and I think there's a chance we might be in Japan uh, for the foreseeable tournament announcements. I think we're going to go back to Japan every time we're going to yeah, announce we, we could be, I think, I think we'll be in Japan for the next yeah. six months to a year, actually, I think. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Potentially, yeah. Potent potentially, um, yeah. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Angus. Uh, great right, stuff. Thanks, Crystal and Fisher. I'm we'll shaking be... your hand on camera here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, Maybe also, extend your uh, hand and shake it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I've also done the same thing. Thank you. Um, it, it, my hand is not in a cupped position, more of a thing. Just I'll, to, I'll stop shaking. I hope you're not still shaking. It looks like a twat if you are. Uh, well, I'm shaking something, but you know, it's not on camera. But um, all right. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll be back very, very soon with more ISGP goodness. And Goodbye. as we always say, Crystal Fisher, farewell uh, for now, but not forever. Goodbye and good night, bang.